Hey guys, KingCraft here with a tutorial on Block Launcher Pro. And um, as you can see right now, we are in Block Launcher Pro. You can tell by the little wrench at the top of the screen, you click the top of the middle. And when you first open Block Launcher Pro, what you might want to do is tap that wrench right there. And it'll pull up this list of options. And what you're going to want to do is just click Launcher Options. Click the, uh, that highlighted blue one right there, click that one. And it'll open this GUI up right here. And if you want a texture pack, what you want to do, you want to click texture pack, go to your downloads folder, or wherever you set it to download, and then do that. And see, I have them over in here. I'm going to click that one. And you're going to click back, and it'll load it. And this is 0 0.7.6 texture pack. So it might not work. back to the tutorial that was kind of fun. Um, Alright, so Once you got that, that's just how to use texture packs. It's pretty simple. Um, just make sure when you open it, it might not be highlighted, so you're gonna click use texture pack, texture pack, find your texture pack, click on it, and yeah, go play. The next thing you wanna do, if you want mods, is go to manage patches. And there's not gonna be anything here, and you're gonna have to click import. But sometimes it won't show up. You wanna go to CS File Explorer and um. Go to download wherever the mod is. I don't think I have any mods. Um, I don't have any mods. But anyways, you're gonna go to the download folder or wherever you download the mod. You're gonna you know, use this thing. You're gonna click on that or hold it, whatever it is. You can use it, click more, and just or whatever you have to do to get to extract it, and it'll extract it to whatever folder you want. To find that mod. You're gonna go back to block on your clone. And where you extract it, it'll show up. If it didn't show up already. And then you're gonna click enable if you want it to be on. Or disable if you want it to be off and you don't want it anymore. You just click delete. And it'll be gone. And then you're gonna click back. It'll restart like that. Go into your world. And play. And that's just about it. I'm pretty sure it's Block Launcher Pro. There's also a feature for Android since there's a bug right now where you can type in chat. Ooh, it's showing. I guess Block Launcher Pro fixed that. That's pretty cool. Well, um, before there was a bug where it wasn't working on regular Minecraft, and you just click insert text and you type it up right here. So, ha 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 ha. And that would pop up in there. So you click return and it'll pull it up. So that's a pretty neat feature. Um, what else is there? You can patch mods in game. Some, some some of them don't work, most of them do. You can manage your mod PE scripts. And um, I don't know if these are actually going to work because it's 3.8, but they might work. And if it does, it's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, are there? Yeah, there's eggs in creative. Okay, it's not on. Usually it'll teleport you. But um, with this Ender Pearl mod, I might do a showcase on that later. But um, yeah, guys, I think that's gonna do it for this video. I'm pretty sure that's all the main features of Block Launcher Pro. You can take screenshots with it. Um, let me show you guys right here. Take screenshot, and it just saves that image right there, and it'll save it where it saved it to. Um, yeah, this has changed the um, how big it looks. If I do 1,000, or how big the screen looks. Do this here. All the screen things are really big, as you can see right here. I think it's pretty funny having a giant screen GUI. It might be good for recording, depending on the size of your screen or whatever. But um, yeah, neat little feature. Um, extract original text. Oh, you can set it as a regular texture pack for Minecraft. Um, with that one, you have to be rooted though. You can change your skin by going to that. Uh. I still have my skins file, I'm pretty sure I do. 
Um, yeah, skins. Um, just click that. You can go back to your game, and I'm pretty sure it should pop up again. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Third person view. Oh my gosh. I'm going to change this back real quick. Hold on. Um, you leave it blank so, it does, so it's just normal size. That's pretty funny. Uh, options. Third person view. It's not showing my screen right, skin right now. It will in a second. Unless I have to restart the app. That's the case. I'm still kind of new to block launcher myself, so I'm kind of just giving a neat little tutorial, just little features. Um, I haven't tried that yet because I just updated this to use it to record. Um, enable skin override. Uh, skins. Unless it doesn't work with 0 0.8.0, which I think it should though. So that number here. Nerdy stuff. And restart app to get like if certain mods aren't starting immediately just click restart app the same thing with texture packs it's 0 0.8.0 so skins aren't going to work but anyways guys that's going to do it for this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed um if you if this tutorial helped you leave a like and a comment on a tutorial i can do next guys so um yep yeah, subscribe if you haven't already and enjoy the content I, I i like subscribers i like getting those little youtube service messages say if I got a subscriber comment if you're a youtuber you know what I'm talking about but um yeah guys I will see you later